Hello friends, in this video we are going to see another type of supply that is AC supply. We have seen DC supply and numericals based on this. But nowadays almost more than 90% of applications require AC supply. So let us study that. First of all, let us define what is AC and DC and let us check out the difference between them. So, direct current is a current which remains constant in magnitude with respect to time. If I plot the graph, I will get a straight line which is independent of time, a fixed magnitude. Whereas, whenever I have AC supply, it is a current which is changing periodically with respect to time both in magnitude and direction. Suppose we want to plot this. So, the plot will be like this. So, here I have plotted four waveforms. One waveform is a sinusoidal, another one is triangular. Not necessarily all the time I should have a defined manner. Therefore, I have drawn one complex waveform also along with one rectangle or square waveform. If you check the graph, you will come to know at every instant I am getting different magnitude. So, magnitude actually started from 0 then slowly it is increasing, reach its maximum value and again it starts decreasing, becomes 0, increased in negative direction, becomes maximum and decrease in negative direction and ultimately become a 0. So, if you check properly, I am getting this particular pattern alternatively or periodically. So, therefore, AC waveform is defined as change in a magnitude as well as direction periodically with respect to time. Why to study AC over DC? Definitely there are some important advantages of AC over DC. Let us see that. So, first advantage is the voltages in AC system can be raised or lowered by using a device called as transformer. Okay. In one of the models, we are going to see this uh, particular device, but lowering or raising of DC level is not that easy. Secondly, if I can raise AC voltage to a very high value, so electrical transmission that we have seen in most of the transmission lines is almost 1000 kilometer long. So, through those lines, I can pass very high AC voltage level. Why? Because it is very easy to increase AC voltage level, but that is not a facility available with DC. So, transmission at high AC voltage is possible. Third, as far as the applications are concerned, meaning if I have a electrical motors and those are three phase induction motor or single phase induction motors are robust and maintenance free or you can say a less maintenance is required. That is not a case with respect to DC machines because some important aspects like carbon brush or commutator are the extra things added to AC machinery in order to make it a DC machine where maintenance is essential. And last, Whenever I need a DC supply, I can get it from AC supply by using a rectifier. So, rectifier is a device nowadays we are using everywhere which can convert AC supply to DC supply. So, if I get a DC supply out of AC supply, so definitely the requirement of a DC supply for most of the applications will get reduced. Hence, Pertaining to these advantages, it is always beneficial and advantages to go for a AC supply. In subsequent videos, we will see all the related terms rather how to generate AC waveform, then some important terms related to AC waveforms we will see in subsequent videos. But it is clear. AC supply is a need of R and therefore, you can also see all the traction related things that means wherever we are having a local trains 
each and every local trains whether it's a harbor line central line or western line is nowadays converted into ac thank you